what's going on crossman legacy 1000 from walmart i got this probably a month ago i've been shooting it a little bit off and on and kind of struggled to shoot it good and today i spent some time on it switched the scope up a little bit i put a simmons 4x32 8 point on there some tip off rings and that's all i've done to the gun they advertise this thing at two pumps then it'll shoot up to 550 fps six pumps 850 and 12 pumps a thousand so i don't know about all that you know how air rifle manufacturers do i did do some chronograph measurements with it with sig zero 8.18 pellets really similar to the terminator pellets they're almost identical in head size but these are a little bit heavier the weather today is 54 degrees we've got a three mile per hour wind and it's trying to rain on me i did some crony numbers with it and i started at 12 pumps with this thing go up to 12 with the sig pellets and that came out to be 735 feet per second which is going to be 9.8 fpe at 10 pumps this thing does 727 fps and that's 9.6 fpe so only a 0.2 fpe between 10 and 12 pumps at eight pumps this thing did 693 and that's 8.7 fpe so between 8 and 12 there's about a 1 fpe difference and then at six pumps this thing did 646 and that's 7.5 fpe so between 6 and 12 pumps there's only 100 fps gained um, and it's about two foot pounds but for me that's why i'm shooting this today at six pumps because it's just not it's not even fun really to shoot this multiple times at 12 pumps so that's why i'm shooting six pumps today 7.5 fpe is still plenty and then at four pumps this did 550 which is still respectable especially for how easy it is to to operate the gun at four pumps and that's uh 550 is 5.5 fpe and this is 18 yards i'm going to shoot the six zeros at six pumps i'm going to do a five shot group down there on the target it's not zero perfect it's not zero perfect i was shooting it a little bit and then it started raining and it, i actually zeroed it at about 25 yards so it may be a little high and it may be a little off in one direction we'll see in a minute but overall impressions i still like the daisy 880 better but this definitely will put out more power my seating position is low today and my table's on wheels like a little machine gun turret let me see if i can find a higher seat that way i'm not uh like you know shooting weird i'll be right back all right so this chair i'm a big boy this chair is kind of shaky but at least i'm up higher so I'm going to do a five shot group at the orange spot on the little target there that DG Outdoors gave me. I'm running low on targets and I appreciate him sending me those. Five and six. After about six pumps and I'm, I'm a pretty sturdy guy. This thing is borderline, I would say difficult to to charge up the air it's it's you it would take some practice again i'm going for that orange target this will be a five shot group at six pumps trigger trigger pull feels almost toyish compared to the daisy 880 and it may be because my daisy 880 is broken well When I was shooting it earlier, I was I was doing sets. I was doing six, and then I'd switch positions and, and pump it six more times with the other arm. And definitely would be good for somebody trying to gain wrist strength. It's looking good so far. I can't really see down there today. I don't have my glasses on. 
and these these scopes or the parallax is for 100 yards so this is kind of close for it so i can't really see what's going on but it looks like it's doing well kind of pulled that one to the right so i don't know i don't know where it went um after the gun went off it slipped to the right my table here moves so I think uh, once broken in and maybe taken apart and, and lubricated and loved on a little bit, I think this will probably be a fantastic gun. It's just I like the Daisy 880 better. This thing is way easier to cock to, or uh, way easier to load the pellet into though. I could actually mount the scope quite a bit lower if I took the, the rear side off. And I, I like to mount scopes as low as I can. So that is a, a, a pro. It's just... I'm used to the Daisy 880. I do like the ambidextrous cheek piece. I shoot lefty. It's annoying. The Daisy 880 has that big cheek piece on, on one direction. I wish they would make a just an ambidextrous version or maybe even an elevated cheek piece version. But this, <laughs> um, yeah, I get too much into the, to the 880, I think. They probably would never consider putting in engineering for that. But I'm going to quit talking. I'm going to keep shooting. Two more shots. That was a good shot. That one. I kind of pulled right too as the gun went off. It's a heavy trigger pull, not a very, not the most stable shooting position. But I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. That was with Sig Zero 8.18. I'm gonna run inside and grab some Crossman pellets to shoot through there. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna use the Crossman destroyers. I'm gonna shoot the black dot right there on the top right. These are from. Uh, Wayne off of eBay. If you're looking for some pellet samplers, these things have been really handy for stuff like this. Again, we're going to do six pumps. This is going to be Crossman Destroyers, 18 yards, top right. Pretty good. I didn't shoot any Fallon shots in between, so that may be evident. It may shoot two or three somewhere and then group two together. I don't really know that gun, this gun, that good, so we'll see. Goodness, almost shot my camera. That's another uh, reason I have the opinion that I, that I do about Crossman pellets. Last one with the Crossman Destroyers, and then we're going to try another pellet type. Goodness gracious. 
not his favorite pellet. Let's try the, this would be a good pellet for it. These, these are the Air Arms Falcon 7.33s. We'll do a five shot group with these. That'll be the lower, the lower target there. These are a field sport type pellet, kind of a short and, and fat pellet, bigger looking head size, rounded, round nose. We're gonna do six pumps with it too. It's uh, migrating low and right. Nice. I need to get a 10 of these pellets. It is easier to load these backwards for some reason. It's like they want to stick on my fingers and then go and fall in there backwards. You gotta watch that with these guns. Last two, and then we'll measure them up. We'll see which, which pellet type did the best for today, if I can get these loaded. We'll measure them up and see what kind of, see which pellet type is the best of what I've shot today. The trigger just, I mean, you can feel it's just almost toy-like. Um, I'm going to take it apart and mess with it a little bit. This would be a really fun gun if Patrick from 880 LDC made a LDC for this one too. This would be awesome, especially with that little bit of extra power over the Daisy 880. This might be a good one to have for squirrel hunting the i enjoy shooting the springers a lot but these pumpers these multi-pump pneumatic they seem to be a little more accurate don't tell nobody i said that but um 18 yards you, you really have to be shooting well to be doing these kind of groups with my springers maybe not the diana but yeah this might be a good one for squirrel hunting that's what i'm trying to say it'd be cool if patrick made an 880 ldc for this one not trying to call you out or nothing, Patrick. Last shot. Left or right. I'm going to go get that target. We'll measure it up. I'll see you in a minute. So the six zeros, five shot group at six pumps, was right at an inch at 18 yards. The Crossman Destroyers, 2.25 inches, and the... Air Arms Falcon 7.33 grains did a, I'm gonna say that's 0.8. So it did a 0.8 group. Overall first impressions, this is a good gun though. Definitely has more power. If I practice with it more, I might like it better. Overall first impressions of the, the Legacy 1000 here. The pros would be it definitely has more power than the 880. It's affordable. This whole setup right here would cost you about a hundred bucks. Um, you got a little more power, maybe a little less accurate than the 880 though. At 18 yards, I would have no problem making some tiny groups with my 880. But it's also well broke in and I've shot it thousands of times. So maybe if I put a thousand pellets through this, it would be better. I didn't clean the, the barrel on this one. I, have, I haven't had it apart at all. So um, I, guess, I guess stay tuned. I'll be messing with it. 
Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not a subscriber, I, I hope you enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing. I'll see you guys later.